My background is in cancer biology, and when I was um, a PhD student in the lab, my mentor had this small molecule inhibitor for triple negative breast cancer, and I knew that within those five years, I would get that drug from the lab into a human patient. I was sorely mistaken. What I have learned from working with the fellows is that there are a number of steps and processes that have to be overcome in order to get uh, drugs from the bench to the bedside. And the fellows, what I've noticed is that many of them begin their projects with the end in mind. So they are aware of these different hurdles that they have to overcome and they start their projects knowing what these hurdles are and having a plan for how to overcome them them. My name is Dr. Brittany Hanks, and I am currently a scientific program specialist within the education branch at the National Centers for Advancing Translational Sciences. At NCATS, I work in the education branch, and I work to help develop curricula and the translational science training program. So my focus is really on developing um, professional development seminars for our about 50 fellows. Uh, we have um, summer interns who are here during the summer months, post-baccalaureate fellows, graduate students, as well as postdoctoral fellows. And so I work to ensure that we have professional development at all those uh, different training levels, as well as making sure that we are engaging the fellows and tr training them on how to become translational scientists and engaging them in different um, career opportunities so that when they transition from NCATS, they're able to um, go off into the world and use their translational science skills to engage in a multitude of career paths. One of the biggest things that I have learned is that translational science really is a team sport. And so a lot of our fellows do engage in many collaborations. And I find it's because of these collaborations that they are able to impact the field of translational science. So when I talk to trainees and they're interested to coming to NCATS, I tell them that it is an amazing environment for them to learn new skills, for them to engage in a number of projects, and for them to really see how translational science is conducted. In this particular uh, space and time with the COVID pandemic, I am seeing that a lot of our fellows who are in the lab and who are doing this type of work are not only thinking about how do I get a publication, how do I make sure that um, my data is publishable, they're more, more focused on how do I impact this pandemic, how do I make sure that the work that I am doing can move forward and help us get out of this current state that we're in. So a part of me feels like with being a translational scientist, the focus is not so much about my research and kind of that independent drive of how do I make sure that my career is advancing and my field is advancing, but it's more focused on this team effort of how do I make sure that global health is improving and that we're actually getting patients the medication and the treatments that they need.